Thanks for checking out my channel and my video. So I was just doing some string bending, doing uh, some exercises to work on the uh, calluses a little bit. Uh, I thought I'd do a short series of videos on string bending, especially focused around the blues. But it's an important guitar technique in general for other styles like rock and R&B, country, etc. But in getting started and talking about string bending, there's a few things that I'm going to be covering. One of which is the actual physical aspect of bending a note, um, targeting notes, and the really important is intonation. Finally, leading up to vibrato, which is down the road and something that we all have to work on a fair bit in the world of blues and in those other styles of music. So on this first video, it's really going to be based around the beginnings of starting and getting started in bending, especially for those that are just starting out beginner level. Um, how do we actually start off with getting a, a clean note, getting it to sound clean and well intonated, etc. So we'll get started with the video and remember that you can subscribe to my channel each week I post a new guitar tutorial. The note that I'm targeting is my root note. So when I'm in the key of A, that's an A, which I find at the 5th fret of the E string or um, at the 10th fret of the B string. So now I'm bending the B string. So this is my target note right here. All right, so that's how I'm bending. I'm targeting that note. Now we need to talk about the uh, physical aspect of doing the bending itself. So there's a pivoting motion. Um, I'm using these two fingers, a ring finger and a middle finger, and I'm using my thumb wrapping over the neck somewhat, and I'm moving up like so. So that thumb adds a lot of leverage to this bend. Now, sometimes I bend and I'm slipping down a little bit more, um, depending on the position or the part of the neck where I'm bending. But in this case, I'm wrapping my thumb over and I'm moving up and pivoting upwards. So that's a good exercise right there. Targeting your note and then bending up. testing the note because that leads into the next important concept and that's intonation. Whatever note we bend, we have to make sure that it's intonated correctly. Let me bend a note that's badly intonated. I test my note ooh, and I realize that well, I'm way off right there. Intonation is obviously really important in getting started with string bending. That note that I bent was really flat. Um, also, the opposite can happen where I overbend, and that means playing a note that's just way too sharp, like this. And this is the note that I'm targeting. It's way off. So, underbending or overbending, um, we have to avoid it, and that's where the exercise of hitting a source note and bending to get the intonation right. So, we're going to hear it when it's just not happening. So, we can even adjust mid bend. So for example, if I overbend, like so here's my source note, and I overbend, and there I found my source note. So we can incorporate that into our practice uh, exercises. And at the same time, we're keeping our mind on uh, maintaining a good physical leverage position just to uh, get our hands used to that position, that pivot position, and the thumb helping with leverage. That can be turned into a really good uh, bending exercise where we actually play our target note and then we bend into that note. Um, in two different ways. There's a way of uh, bending from below and into the note or bending pre-bent. We could go pre-bend okay so that's another way of turning this into an exercise. 
It takes a while to build up calluses and hand strength, um, especially getting used to this pivot position and uh, the leverage that's required to get into bending. So uh, string gauge helps a little bit. Um, of course, if we're using really heavy strings, we're going to need that much more force in our hands. And the calluses are really, are really going to get built up fast with thicker strings. Um, lighter strings, this guitar has 10s, 10s to 46, and that seems to feel pretty good for string bending. Um, much lighter is probably going to make things easier as far as bending goes, but um, in my case for blues especially, I like a little heavier, and 10 is by no means heavy, but on some of the guitars I use 11, uh, 11 to uh, 48, which, uh, you know, stresses the hand a little bit more, but uh, probably will give you more hand strength as well. So you can experiment with string gauge, but uh, when you're just starting out, I'd recommend 9s or 10s just to get started on that. Another important thing is um, the string action. If the action is really, really low, um, when we're bending strings, when we bend up, we're actually going to catch the string from above like this because the action is too, too low. What, what has to happen when we're bending is I'm actually pushing my third string out of the way. I'm going underneath and I don't know if you can see that on the video, but I'm actually going underneath that G string when I bend. Um, anywhere else that I would bend, the same thing would happen if I'm... I'm going underneath the D string in that case. So if the action is really low, I may not be able to go underneath um, the uh, string that's below it. And that would cause a lot of problems. It would be really hard to get a clean sound coming out of that bent note. So uh, string height action is something to pay attention to for sure. So for my next couple videos on string bending, I'm going to get into targeting other notes. What other notes are typically bent, especially in blues and rock. Also in between bends, half tone, quarter tone, and micro bends. The way that you bend notes, there's all kinds of ways that you can... Uh, incorporate bent notes into soloing as well so that implies phrasing of these bent notes finally everything will also lead up into a string or finger vibrato um, of notes that are not bent as well so i'm going to really uh, get into that uh, vibrato as well which is obviously a really important technique in the world of blues and rock all right so i hope you got some tips on this beginning string bending video and uh, remember that you can subscribe to my channel each week i post a new traditional blues guitar tutorial all right we'll see you soon again